And last night was a late night. Taking it down all those stairs. Here we go! Okay, today I'm going to have a go on one of those one wheel things, those electric unicycles round Hyde Park. But I'm running a little bit late, so I'm going to have to get the tube. Tell you what, this is why I don't get the tube. Four minutes to wait for the tube. As you can see, the tube is mega, mega busy. That's one of the reasons why you should get an electric sewer. So you don't have to ride on the busy, bloody tube. Okay, welcome to Hyde Park Corner. It's one of my favourite places in London, actually. Okay, here's the dude I'm meeting. How you doing? My boy. Dude. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Like, it's like meeting a brother from another mother, you know what oh. I mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I'm here with... Afiz K. Afiz, <laughs> yes. uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. All right, so my name is Afiz K. Uh, during the daytime, I'm a QA head of QA in, in IT, but during the nighttime, I ride on these things. <laughs> Only at nighttime. <laughs> Only at nighttime. This is an exception. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, you, and you're going to show me how to use. This is an electric unicycle. This. Guys. It's an electric unicycle. It is the best EV on the planet. Whoa! Really? No is, that, is that the one? Yeah, will this it, is the one. Will it replace my electric scooter? Well, let's see. <laughs> okay, uh, I think he's going to show me how to use this. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Awesome. Showing off this guy. He's trying to convert me away from my electric scooter. <laughs> All right, we're going to go somewhere quieter because I'll probably crash this thing. Let's go. All right, let's go. What's the first thing I need to know about riding this thing right, without, if, without, without dying? Breaking, without dying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the first thing you need to know, lean against something. Uh, okay, perfect. Right. So we got this wall. You have the wall, so lean against it. Get on it. Just just swing back and forth. Yeah. Just to get used to it. Because yeah. You know, at this particular moment, the very first time, your body is not used to actually balancing on this. Yeah. So go back and forth. And maybe for the first one hour, just do that. Do you think I could do it in five minutes? If you do in five minutes, I will buy you whatever you want me to buy you. Buy, you know what? I will buy you lunch if you do it in five minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Five right. minutes. You're in charge of the camera. Uh, yeah. You can do it. Uh -huh. And then it's like a segue, right? Yeah. It's me. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> this may take a while. You do salsa. Salsa. Yeah. And then that's it. And then if you're gonna fall down, pick it up. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> so the five minutes has definitely elapsed, but how am I doing? No, you're doing really well. Yeah? You're doing great. I feel like I'm, uh, it's just like Jedi training. <laughs> you know when Luke, Luke and Yoda. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, there's a guy, can't be watching this. What, what do you think of these things? Uh, I had my reservations at first, <laughs> but I'm slowly coming around to it. Okay, it was maybe 10 minutes and I managed to ride by myself. As soon as he taught me to fall, which is weird, as soon as he taught me just to like hop my hand, my feet down, grab it, 
I felt much more confident. To really succeed in anything in life, you need to not be scared of failing. Yeah, yeah. So once you know how to fail, or in this case fall, yes, it just clicks. Then your mind can just open up. I love that. Yeah. It's so much better than I thought. Right foot, look up, relax, get some momentum. Crash landing. Yes. You've done it. Let's go for a ride, yeah? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> so it definitely took longer than I thought, but now let's watch the pro. Here we go. Pro. Do it. Okay. So we're now at Buckingham Palace, as you can tell behind us, and they've closed off the roads. So there's literally no cars, which is Woo! perfect <laughs> for us to be jamming around. It's jamming around. So this is my crib. This is my, my new place. Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> um, no, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, what were you saying about cars there? So what I was saying about cars is, cars are literally taking over our cities around the world. I, I will always say this, if you must get a car, if you must get a car, get an electric car. But if you live in a city, if you, if, if you don't have um, a family yet, um, and you can afford to get an electric scooter, all right, get that, please. Mm. Get an electric unicycle, get an mm. electric skateboard, get a one wheel. Get a bicycle, electric bicycle, if you don't want to ride and you don't, you don't feel like you've got the calf muscles to ride. So, so you, what you were saying there about the architecture yeah. of cities being yeah. made made for cars, that all this space is used by cars, yes. and you know, chances are they're going like five miles per hour because they're stuck in traffic. Yes. There's only one person There's in only there. one it's person. It's ridiculous. And then, you know, pavements, the, the space designed for humans yes. is just really small, the people that are walking. So potentially, in the future, yes. do you think, it could completely flip reverse where there's much less space for roads, yeah. less space for cars, and much more space for people and green vehicles. In zone one and zone two, or, or city centers, yeah. where cars are not needed that much, the amount of architecture and space that has been afforded to cars should be reduced. Anything over zone three, four, five, and six is fine. But zone one and zone two in London, yes, we need to rethink the way we plan, you know, our roads in zone one and zone two in London. Yeah, there should be more space dedicated to cyclists. There should be more space dedicated to electric unicycle, electric scooters, and less to cars. So, um, what's the police like with you on that thing? On this, <laughs> don't want to oh, carry well, it. Well, it. It depends. So let's put it this way. Most of the time, uh, police wouldn't say anything as long as you're reasonable. You don't ride uh, too yeah, fast. Yeah. You have your helmet on, and uh, you know you look like you belong on the street. I mean, there have been times when police have actually stopped me and said, "Hey, where can I get one from?" It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna go straight, right? Go fast. Alright guys, we said five minutes, I'll get it in five minutes. It's now uh, like five hours. <laughs> We're at King's Cross. Yeah. Let's see how we look now. It's 
call it a day. I'm doing it again. Let's call it a day. <laughs>